Hello one and all, welcome back to the channel. We are doing part number 77 of my Farming Simulator Debt Recovery Challenge. Carrying on pretty much where we left off from before. Uh, we're going to get the T560 going on Sunflower. Off he goes. Um, what else have we got to do? We are going to put the Steiger going on some plowing. He is going to kind of plow out this custom field. I know that the AI is going to screw it up and I'm going to have to do some fixing work, but he will do the majority of it. We want to jump in this guy. And we want to move him down to that custom field where the Steiger is. He is going to stone pick for us, eventually. Uh, if you watched the previous episode, you know that I'm ripping that crop out because our experimentation with modifications for sugarcane collection were an absolute failure. And I am not piloting that teeny tiny little craft through that massive field collecting sugarcane. No way. I don't mind doing a little bit in smaller numbers, but I am not doing a massive amount. So... We will repurpose that crop to anything else. Probably corn, and we might turn that into a chaff field. Um, because we know the, even the standard vehicles will pick up chaff, no problems whatsoever. So yeah, that is the plan. We are taking a loss, but we make decent money, so it's, it's not a huge problem. I mean, losing 100,000 is quite a lot of money, but I would rather not have it locked behind a wall of sugar cane that I can't get rid of. What else have we got to do? Uh, we've got some baling, we've got some bale collection, and then it's all farm work, it's all plow, seeding, fertilization work. So, um, I've got this field, which is a custom field, to uh, harvest up for straw. Straw? Yeah, straw. And then we will move on to the bailing. Um, the truck. Where is the truck? Oh, you're collecting milk. Okay. Well, the milk trailer can stay there. Get this monster of a machine. It really is a big beast. But it holds a lot of bales. It is well worth it. Even with its little quirks. It doesn't like to steer very well when going up funny, hill, funny shaped hills. Uh, it's still worth it. It's got an auto load feature on it. So we'll get lots and lots of bales out of this. I can't remember how many it was. I know we did fill it a couple of times a couple of episodes ago. Uh, I have no clue. Turn it on. I think it's working. It is working. Yay. Thank God for uh, auto load. I remember the days of having to gather bales one at a time with uh, bale forks and other little trailers. Uh, a nightmare. I used to hate doing baling work. And when the new farming simulator comes out, if it ever does, I'm dreading the time when we're going to have to go back to that. Uh, that's the way things go. Of course, once the new one comes out, once we uh, progress a little bit, the mods will start flowing again and I'll be back to having fun. <laughs> Not that farming properly isn't fun, of course. There is quite a lot of fun to be had with all the standard equipment. Ooh. But uh, mods do make the game much more interesting. So I want to clear this field off of bales. I want to get that out of the way so that when the Steiger is done down south and we fix whatever problems he's left, and I'm willing to bet there's already some. Well, he's left a little bit. And he's left a piece, a piece there. Um, yeah, once he's done there, and we've fixed up all the problems, we'll move him up here. 
and we will start the process of fertilizing plowing and seeding this field uh, I don't think it needs lime I think we're okay for that Fully fertilized, that's brilliant. And uh, no, it doesn't need lime. And you know what? I think we will have enough trailer space to get this whole, whole field on one trailer. I think the capacity for this trailer was somewhere in the 88 range, or 85 to 88, I think. So. pretty good uh, what we'll do is we will gather this up we will ship it across to the BGA plant where these are going to be housed um, we won't do anything with them just yet but I will mash them down and get them processed through with our little uh, forage wagon that's up there as we know from again uh, the last episode and a couple of episodes before that it's got a really good uh, shredder on the front end and it will chew these bales to pieces in a very short space of time. Don't hit the wall, that's a terrible, terrible idea. Uh oh. Oh, it's got itself hooked up. Damn. Haha. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Come on. It's this little lump, uh, the little pillars that are causing the problem. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Silly, and we're wasting time here. So, try doing it the normal way. The perils to using mods <laughs> can't be helped. Normally, I just skip across the fields, but I thought being on the road it might actually behave itself a bit more, but. Uh, I don't think we're going to do that again. I think I'll just skip across the field. There you do. Oh, you're backing up. You waste a... Oh, I hate the AI. What a waste of a row. All down. Come on. Oh. What the? Oh dear. Apparently that's loose. I have no idea why that's loose, but apparently it is.
interesting. Right, let's see what that... Yeah, I thought you might do. Right, okay, so, um... Looks like I'm going to have to do the rest. That's fine. I will put you guys into warp speed, accelerated speed, hyperlapse, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I will get on with some work. We're going to plow up this. We're going to get the stone picking on the go. We are going to keep an eye on this guy because he's going to make a mistake soon. I'm sure of it. He hasn't done already. And then we're going to do some more bailing. So, uh, yeah, I'll do some work. I'll bring us back to the normal speed. Uh, once we've got a little bit of progress done and then we'll see where we go from there. All going well, we'll get quite a bit done. And we'll be able to get on with uh, some varied tasks. But uh, be warned, you are going to see most likely some sugar cane cutting in this episode. And it is not particularly interesting. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, fair warning to you for that. So, yeah, uh, whether you watch it, whether you listen to it, totally fine. Um, I do know that these videos make really good background noise while you're doing other tasks. So, yeah, whatever works for you, uh, enjoy. And we will speak again real shortly for you. For me, it will be a little while, but for you, it'll be really quick. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there.
Okie so does somebody want to explain to me how a stone picker who is assigned to a field over there manages to find his way into a field of trees on the other side of the road and not only does he just he doesn't just accidentally drive into a couple of the trees at the start of the road no 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 he's gonna drive halfway down another field and wedge himself in amongst the trees. I kind of wish I was actually recording that because I'd really like to see how that managed to happen. But still, never mind. Um, it just really does define just how monumentally stupid the AI is in this game, and I fervently hope that when the new one comes out, assuming the new one comes out, they fix the AI. It's it needs to be smarter. I mean, yeah, it's a custom field. It wasn't designed on the map or anything like that. I get that, but it's still got boundaries. It's got field limits. These machines aren't supposed to go beyond those limits. So how in the hell did it end up all the way over there? How I just I don't understand how it managed it. I mean, quite fine, it's almost a straight line, but how do you get from gathering stones on a ploughed field to trying to gather stones on grass? I mean, the minute it left the ploughed field, why did it not just stop and announce that it finished its work? It's 
strange. So, a recap. What have we been doing? Well, we've been kind of busy. Uh, with the exception of plowing this one up. And I'm going to have to drive this myself. So, we've got a little bit of time to talk. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> uh, so, what have we been doing? We have been plowing. We have a new field up here uh, at the top of 15, 16, and 17. That is awaiting lime. Uh, it will need stone picking. God help us. Um, it will need fertilizing and seeding. That's going to be corn because we're going to use that uh, as a chaff field. Get this line going. What else have we done? We have cut in a new section around field 13. I originally designed it so that it was going to be a sort of an L shape or half a square field. And that was going to be it. But I was looking at it just a minute ago and I think I'm going to link it into 13. Just make field 13 just that bit bigger. Uh, the AI will probably throw a hissy fit over it and probably re outright refuse to harvest it. But we'll figure it out. Uh, but I think it'd be better just to increase the mass of 13. Similarly, down at, on 18, we have cut away all the grass. Uh, again, initially I was thinking about linking it to the um, sugarcane field, and we are going to do that as soon as I've cut away a couple rows of sugarcane so that I can get the plough in there without losing too much more crop. Um, and that's what I was going to leave it at, but now I'm thinking I might as well just cut away that little segment and just link it to 18, and just make field 18, which is already a huge field, that much bigger. I think that'll be far more simplistic when it comes to uh, harvesting. We just get a slightly bigger field. Eventually I do want to link these three together as well. Uh, again, I think it'll be a little bit more easier to handle and manage. And we won't have to cut those tiny little uh, headland segments around each field. Which will be uh, a, a bit of a time saver. So... Next segment of jobs. Well, what are we doing? We've got the plow and the stone picker working on field nine. I can't do any more custom plowing until that plow is finished, but he's nearly there. We will link that field to 13 and then we will link this one to 18. And then we're going to do some baling. Once one of these stone pickers has been freed up, probably this one, we will go around and we will stone pick up field 13 and its new custom section. And then we can get that one. Uh, we'll do the whole thing in line just to keep it all balanced. And then we will fertilize it, seed it. You get the idea. Uh, so we've got quite a lot of diverse work to do here. It's going to take us quite a while to complete all this. I don't think I'm going to get all this done in one episode. It's very, very unlikely, but long-term plans are the goal here. There we go. That is stone collection on this lower custom field. Done. We will go and empty him. Because he's almost halfway full. I don't want to run the risk of it going halfway through a field and then stopping and saying, no, no, we're full, get stuffed. Because again, the AI is not that smart when it comes to stone pickers. If you start a field and then have to stop for whatever reason and pick it up again, there is a, I would say about an 80% chance that instead of carrying on where you left off, as soon as it comes to the end of a row, it will deliberately go back and do stuff that it's already done rather than go onto the stuff that hasn't been stone picked so uh, it's better to keep the tanks fairly empty uh, so yeah there is the plan so we'll get this guy empty and then we'll move him over to field 13 and have him ready to go We need a tractor available to deal with a lime machine. That will probably be the Xeron. I like that Xeron, it's a nice machine. It's a bit wasted doing uh, fertilization, but you know, when needs must, I, I am kicking myself for getting rid of that New Holland medium tractor that we had up in the north section. I should have kept it, it would have been really handy for another workhorse on the farm. 
never mind. Again, we all live and learn from our mistakes. And making mistakes is part of the fun. So, the plow. He's almost done. He's getting there, slowly but surely. Again, I'm seriously considering getting another plow as well, so that we can have two fields plowing at one time. It will mean we'll have to have more equipment, but worth it. So, we'll stop him there. Turn the engine off. Uh, while we're waiting, we'll just drop that off. Might as well go and get the line machine and save ourselves a trip. Because we are just waiting for the plow to finish before I chuck you guys back into warp speed or hyperlapse, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it warp speed because it's far more entertaining. It puts a smile on my face every time I say it. Yes, I am a big Star Trek fan. Um, yeah, I'll put you guys back into warp speed shortly. But might as well get all the implements where we need them to be. And actually, while we're doing it, we might as well lime out this and then we don't have to come back here. And the plow will absolutely be finished by the time we're done with that. So yeah, I'm going to lime it whilst I've got you here and you're stuck listening to my voice. And then you can go into hyperlapse. Oh, it's warp speed and... Uh, back to the grindstone, so to speak. We've got some baling to do as well before we can cut any more newish fields. But the liming, thanks to this wonderful modded machine, Really won't take very long. Single row pass for the custom field and then two passes for the standard field and we're away. It just occurred to me I could have actually put the stone picker going on this field because it's not linked to anything. It is basically just a big long rectangle. Never mind. Again, mistakes. We learn. I really should get in the habit of using this class more often. It is a really nice machine. AI Worker G has completed their task. I'm willing to bet you haven't. What are the odds that they actually ploughed the very end of that field? not the straightest rectangle in the world, I do admit that. But, uh, it's not too bad, all things considered. I was expecting a lot of um, a lot of waviness along the sides because using an articulated tractor is not the easiest job in the world when it comes to cutting straight lines, but uh, I think I did okay, all things considered. It could have been a lot worse. And if we really, really want dead straight fields, then uh, I can always go back in with the uh, sculpting tool and just trim away the excess pieces yeah, if I'm desperate enough for that kind of perfection. I'm not, but if we ever get to that stage, then uh, we can do that. Uh, I think I would worry if I got to that point. Right, so we'll just stop him there very quickly. We're going to have a look. Oh, I'll be damned. He ploughed it. Well, well done. We are very impressed. So we'll turn on the field creation tool again. 
what we'll do is we'll just nick this last bit and then I'll set him plowing the standard stuff whilst I line up the rest uh, so once we're done with the plowing we'll throw you into warp, sp warp speed and then uh, we'll crack on because I don't want to talk for too long because that makes the videos really really long and I like to avoid that into the field just a little bit so that it links We are going to need to tidy up the edge here. No more field creation. Make sure we did turn that off. That would be a disaster. Right, so off you go. And we will jump out and we'll do a little bit of cleaning up. Now I said I don't like doing this, but we don't want it overhanging too much. So we'll just uh, trim away a little bit of the excess. There we go. Oh, it's not brilliant. It's better than nothing. Right, so he's off doing that. Uh, we're going to go finish the lime. I'm going to throw you guys into warp speed. Uh, I'll bring us back uh, when we're about ready to wrap up this episode. So once again, watch it, listen to it, whatever works for you guys. As long as you're enjoying yourself, that's all that ever matters. And we'll speak again really, really soon.
Okie dokie. So, uh, progress. Excellent progress, all things considered. Uh, we are doing relatively well. So we have, what have we done? We have fertilized, plowed, and stone pit field number nine. We have linked in the new custom section to field 13. Similarly, we have linked in an expanded field 18. We've just got to link in that little bit, but I can't do that until we've done the sugar cane, which isn't going to be happening anytime soon. But there's no particular rush because the field is a long way from being harvested. Uh, we have gathered up all the bales. They haven't been processed through, but they have been gathered up. We've returned the equipment back to the farm. We are currently emptying the milk. It's probably done by now. Stone picking is going well in on field 13. Not going to be finishing that this episode. A bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping to get that done, but never mind. What else have we done? Oh, we did buy the uh, the Xeron um, tractor. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. What track? Fast track? Or is that the JCB? What's it called? Where is it? Saddle track. I know it had track in it somewhere. So that is now owned. So our leasings are now three. Actually, it's four. Uh, we've got the Crone. Uh, 1180 that will cost us 440,000 to buy we have two roper tiger xls one for 448 the other for 412 and last but not least the brand new and horrible to use case at our stuff 8800 i think that's how you pronounce it that will cost us 342,000 and that is all the vehicles uh, once we have acquired all those, I don't think we need anything else. So that means we are then totally and utterly focused on money. Paying off the loan will be the next marker to fall, and then we are into the home stretch, he says, uh, where we make £100 million. I don't think that's going to fall anytime soon, but here we go. Ah, 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 ah. Stop, stop. But what did you do? Oh, pain in the ass. Actually, I can't blame the AI for this one. Um, what I do blame is the map designer. Shame on you. There are a few bugs on this map. Uh, one of them being these bollards. I don't know why they're in the middle of the field. It doesn't matter how many times I move them. Anytime I load the map back in, they go right back to being on the field. But the AI refuses to drive through them. Outright refuses, even though they're not uh, fixed in any way. They'll move around. You can knock them around. I can pick them up and throw them away. But uh, the AI just stops. Uh, most unhelpful. But never mind. We will make the best of it. Uh, I'll keep an eye on this guy when we run the next episode. Hopefully he will make the left turn rather than a right turn. But I kind of doubt it. So, uh, what have we done? What else have we got to do? The Steiger is in position to cut off field number... Actually, there's no number, is there? It's the uh, southwest field. <laughs> you can't number custom fields, unfortunately. That would be hugely helpful, if you could. Uh, once he's done plowing that one through, uh, we will be moving him all the way across where he's going to plow 17. And if we're really, really lucky, we'll get that done long before he is done stone picking that new custom field so that we can get the plow and that stone picker all working together on field 17. Other than that we are making really good progress. Um, this needs to be limed field 13 but I don't I can't do that until the uh, the stone picking has been completed so lots of little tasks to do in the next episode but as it stands guys that's where we are going to end Part number 77. Uh, if you've made it this far, I'm assuming you have found something you've enjoyed watching. I really hope you've enjoyed watching it or listening to it. Uh, if you ha if you have enjoyed it and you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. That will help me out a huge deal. Uh, turn on your notifications and then you get notified when I release the content. Uh, throw us a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page where you can get 
updated on all my uh, current projects and upcomings. Other than that, guys, have yourself a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all in the next one.